everyone and welcome to my channel. Today I'm really excited because I'm going to be sharing with you a new company that I had never heard of before and I'm going to be talking about their products that they sent to me to try out and that is the company The Skin Forum. So I'll be talking to you about their new sheet masks that they sent me to try out. Thank you so much for being here. Go ahead and leave a like while you're here. Subscribe to my channel. Leave a comment down below. But other than that, let's jump right into it. This is the Skin Forum. It is a Korean skincare line. The box that I was sent has five sheet masks in it, and the idea is that you use one each day to rejuvenate your skin, remove toxins, moisturize, all the things that your skin needs, and it works for any skin type. The big thing too is that it's made with botanicals, and it's really good for your skin. There's no bad things in it like parabens or artificial dyes or fragrances or things like that. So really good quality things for your skin. So as I said, I did get five sheet masks. The first one is the citrus mask and it's to revitalize and help your skin be glowy. It has grapefruit, lemon, and orange. Helps get rid of toxins, all of that kind of stuff. So that is a great mask. I actually use that one in the morning just to see if it would help wake me up because I know that citrus fragrances are revitalizing and so it helps you wake up in the morning. So I wanted to try that out and it totally did. This is what the packaging looks like. It's so cute. We have the holographic packaging on the front and we've got the orange label so you know it's the citrus one. I can't remember the last time I've been that awake in the morning. So that was a really fun way to start my morning. The second mask is called an herb mask and it is meant to calm your skin and make it more supple. It has rosemary, witch hazel, green tea, and aloe. I have not used this one yet but I'm really looking forward to doing so because my skin definitely needs something to calm it down. You know what I'm saying? The third mask that we have is a lavender mask. I love purple, it's my favorite color. Lavender fragrances are amazing, so I was really excited to try this one out. It has lavender oil, chamomile, aloe, and rosemary. It's supposed to soothe and relax your skin, so sort of a similar situation to the herb one. Then in addition to those three masks, I actually got two black masks. These are super cool. There's the charcoal mask and then the oxygen bubble mask. And we all know that the bubble masks are super popular, especially with Korean skincare. This packaging is so cool. These ones have the matte black on them with the holographic title in the middle, whereas the other ones are holographic with the color in the middle. I think these look so cool. They definitely give me space vibes. I have not used either of these, but that is because I'm going to be having a special guest come and join me in just a little bit, and she's going to help me try these out, and that's actually my mom. She's a good sport, so I asked her if she would come try one with me. I'll let her pick if she wants the oxygen mask or the charcoal mask. I have a feeling she won't want the bubble mask because... I don't think she'll really like that feeling of things bubbling all over her face, but we'll see what she decides. And then we'll let you guys know how those are, give you our first impressions on those. They did also send me this fun little doodad, and this is the 3D Contour Lifter and Body Shaper. So it's one of those things where you're supposed to rub it on different parts of your face, your body, and it's supposed to contour you and slim you down. I don't really believe that those work. I think these are massage balls, honestly, and they're meant to, you can relax your muscles if you use this on your, you know, your your arm like this or here or even on your back, your calves, you know, you can definitely get some of the knots out, relieve tension and pressure and stress. Like I want someone to use this on my back right now, but they recommend you do it like this and that this is going to contour and lift your face and I just don't buy it. Like, I'm sorry, no matter how much I roll, <laughs> how much I roll this on my face, I just don't think it's gonna get rid of my double chin. So as I mentioned earlier, I have a special guest with me here today, and that is my mom. Hi, mom. Hi, honey. Thanks so much for joining me. I know that this is a lot, but I'm glad that you're here to try these with me because I think it's fun. I have two sheet masks here. This one is an oxygen bubble deep cleansing mask, so it bubbles up on your face. And we also have the botanical fused charcoal mask. So do you want a bubble or do you want some charcoal? No bubbles. <laughs> okay. So mom's going to try the charcoal mask, and I'm gonna try the bubble mask. So now we're gonna go wash our faces off, get our makeup off so that we can do these masks, and we'll be right back. As you can see, we have our face masks on. We were able to successfully apply them. 
Mom, how did you think the application process went? Uh, well, this is my first time with a mask like this of any sort, so it was a little tricky for me to figure out how it went, but I appreciated your help. <laughs> These are very saturated masks, so when you pull it out of the packaging, it's very stuck to itself, and you have to unfold it and try and figure out what it looks like and how it's supposed to go on your face. Even I've done a few sheet masks and I had a, some difficulty um, in getting these on, but how do you feel like it's sticking to your face? Uh, fairly well, yeah. It's, it's, it's on there. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I can feel it right here and I feel like it keeps slipping down. It doesn't stay there well. Right, and then... And then on the chin. Okay. I have foam all over mine. As you can see, it's white now, but it started off black like, like that and now it's foaming. You can actually hear it bubbling. You can feel the bubbles on your face. So that's really interesting. What does yours feel like? Yeah, just cold and wet. <laughs> Well, that's our application check-in. We'll check in with you guys after we've had our masks on for 15 minutes and we'll tell you what we thought. So we are back. I have washed off my bubbles. Mom has massaged in the remaining serum from her mask and we are here to talk about our final thoughts, what we thought about the products, if they worked or not, will we use them again? So I will be referring to this to talk about what they claim to do and then we'll talk about whether or not we think they actually did that. So. Mom had the Detoxify and Hydrate Charcoal Mask, and it says that it will banish dry skin and strip impurities from your face, leaving your face radiant and refreshed in minutes. What were your thoughts on that? I would say it holds up to its claims. My skin feels clean, and it feels soft, and it, it feels hydrated. And So yeah, I thought it was a good product. Awesome. So then did you like the actual format that it came in, the sheet mask itself? Well, that was my first time with any sheet mask, so the process was a little awkward for me. Mm -hmm. um, and it, it did feel a little strange, but it seems to have worked, so I would do it again. Awesome. Well, I'm glad your first experience with sheet masks was good and that I didn't scar you for potentially future endeavors with sheet masks. So no, that's we're good. good. <laughs> and then my mask that I had was the Purify and Brighten Oxygen Bubble Mask, and it says that it will plump and rejuvenate my skin and that I will wake up with flawless complexion. Well, do you think my skin looks rejuvenated and plump? Yes. Oh, good. I mean, it feels fresh and it feels clean and moisturized, like you were saying, definitely clean. Mm -hmm. And so my skin does feel nice afterwards, but I didn't really like the mask itself. I have a different bubble mask that actually comes in a jar that's kind of like a clay, and you put it on and then it bubbles. So I kind of like that one more because this one is a sheet mask and when it bubbles, it starts to slide off of my face. There were times when the top of the mask was getting down to like here. So I kept pulling it back up and pulling it back up. And after about 15 minutes of bubbling on your face, just constantly you kind of start to get irritated, a little itchy. Um, it's not the most comfortable feeling. So the mask itself wasn't necessarily my favorite, but it is a hoot. It's funny to look at because I'm just covered in bubbles. But overall, I would say that we had a good time that they were good products, that we would recommend them to other people, and that we would probably use them again, yeah? Absolutely. So thanks so much to Skin Forum for sending me these products to test out for you guys. I want to say thanks to my mom for joining me, and thanks to you guys for watching. So before you leave, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up, leave a comment down below telling me what you thought about these products, maybe some future videos you'd like to see. If you want to see mom back on the channel, definitely let me know. Until I see you guys next time, bye!